Hi there, Scott with Seaman Custom Builds. Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use your table saw to make a cove cut like I did on this wine bottle shell. Stay tuned and I hope you enjoy. So first we'll start with the layout. I know I want mine to be about three inch wide. So I'm going to come in for this, I'm just going to mark it two and at five. And I want to be approximately three quarter inches deep. So I'm going to measure down. Make that mark. Then using a square, I extend these marks. We'll shade in the area we want to take out. Now we head to the table saw. Okay, for setup first, we need to adjust the height that we want our groove. So I'm going to bring up to my line there. So here we're good there. Next we're going to adjust for the width. So we'll start by, and I'm going to use my miter gauge, my long straight edge. I need to get our blade hits at the beginning of our mark. And I'll go ahead and extend the lines all the way down the piece so I can line the back side of the cut. Here you can see we need to make sure we extend, keeping flat. Just double check the front side again. So there we have a good start. Now we need to clamp the straight edge into place. The angle will vary based on the depth and width of the cove you're trying to make. And again, double check. That more square. We're hitting our marks. You'll want to start with the blade lowered all the way back down and only raised by a 32nd to a 16th of an inch with each pass. That way you don't bog down the blade. So with each pass, you want to check and make sure as you get close so that you don't go past your mark. So as you can see, I hit my corners, hit my depth, and all while doing it safely with push sticks, push blocks, and I can If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, comment, and share. There are also links below to any products or tools used during this video.